Welcome back to The Better Half. On today's show, we're celebrating Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And joining us is Dr. Jennifer Foster. She is with Bell & Health. How are you? Thanks for being on the show today. I'm great. Thanks for inviting me to be on the show. Now, Doctor, I know that one of the reasons you're here is to encourage everyone to come up with a plan an early detection screening plan. Explain what you mean by that. So we haven't yet found a way to prevent breast cancer, but we do know if we find breast cancer early, we can get cure rates of upwards of 100%. It's really important to find breast cancer early, and when you find breast cancer, have an appropriate treatment plan early on to get the highest level of survival and cure rates possible. And you see it, that that does really make a difference? Oh, absolutely. We, If we can find breast cancer in a localized stage, we can have a 100% five-year survival rate, which oh. Wow. We don't find with many other types of cancers. Now, I think one of the neat things that, that our viewers are going to find interesting is this new truck that you have. <laughs> it's a mobile mammography truck. Correct. What is it? So we know that there is a higher level of mammography available nowadays. It's called digital mammography. It, it helps increase our early detection rates for breast cancer, but many communities were, th were without this high level of technology. So we took the high level of technology and put it in a truck and we bring it to the communities who need it. That's awesome. Why was it important to have in this area? So northeastern Wisconsin has higher rates of invasive breast cancer than elsewhere in the country, and largely it's because we're not screening as regularly or routinely as other parts of the country. We know that we won't have to screen better, and if we're going to screen better, let's do it with the highest level of technology out there. It would be impossible to ask these communities on their own to go and buy this level of technology, mm -hmm. so we bring it to them. So it's right there in the, in the truck. Yeah. And it, then you just drive to these local rural communities, rural communities, correct. And, and give these women an opportunity to get the screening. And the, the truck comes fully staffed with all the technologists needed. It's sent back through the, the technology we now have. It's read by our high level radiologists and we get results back to you pretty quickly. Wow. So it's easier to get a mammogram done because I know a lot of people don't necessarily like to go to the hospital and get it done so that's nice you can just hop right in a van and we're, get it we're done. trying to take away excuses we're trying yeah. to take away reasons why women aren't getting screened yeah obviously some women will notice changes in their breasts and things to watch for on their own but mammogram is an important part of the screening profile but mm -hmm. we know like I said at the beginning we can't prevent it so let's catch it early and treat it and cure it what yeah. are some of those signs to so watch for some of the signs to watch for obviously any change in your breast a lump in your breast a change to the skin in your breast any redness of the breast nipple discharge especially if it's clear or bloody if you notice one breast is growing at a difference uh, is growing in relation to its prior size those are all reasons to get checked out by a health care provider it doesn't mean you have breast cancer but it means that there's symptoms there that need further investigation doctor what about people that don't have breast cancer in their family and think oh I, I can wait a few more years before I get a mammogram mm -hmm. that's a great question one in eight women are going to get breast cancer so I tell women I'm sitting with if you're sitting at a table of eight women you can expect that one person at the table will go through breast cancer sometime during their lifetime. Yeah. Of 100 breast cancers, only 15 of them are hereditary or related to genetics. 85% of them are just related to being women. Wow. I did not know that. Me neither. I didn't know yeah. that either. And what is the age you recommend? I, I hear different ages. So really good question. The standard protocol right now is starting sc annual screening mammography at age 40. Obviously, if, if you have a family history of breast cancer, talk to your health care provider. We sometimes start screening a little sooner. Okay. Good to know. Anything else you want people to be aware of when it comes to breast cancer awareness and talking to your doctor about, about their health, women's health? Uh, just get screened, know your own breast exam well. If you notice changes, bring them up to your health care provider and know that we have great treatment options available if you unfortunately are one of the people with breast cancer and being proactive is very important. Dr. Jennifer Foster from Bell & Health. Thank you so much for being yeah, here. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks yep. for having me. And we should watch for the, is, is it really, it's a pink truck, right? It is yeah. a bright pink <laughs> truck. You cannot miss it. It's had some fun little nicknames around That's the office. That's so fun. I love it. Um, but it's coming out to communities near you. Okay, so watch for that. And if you'd like to learn more, uh, um, go to Bell & Health's website, and uh, they're easy to find, and talk to your doctor as well, too. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. And we know it's important to eat healthy for yes. women's health, right? How Absolutely. about making a smoothie bowl? Up next, Heavens with Carrie and Carrie. They're always making smoothie bowls, and they'll tell you why and how to do it. That's next on The Better Half.